Most college campuses have very strict rules about buildings, their architectural character, their materials, and their relationship to other buildings on campus. The master plan for UC really takes the opposite tact. UC's campus is so different from other campuses because it's so urban and diverse. It's very modern. It's a lot different than the traditional brick, spread out campus that used to be the norm. Um, the signature architecture and modern architects that design the campus really set the campus apart. The central concept is holding the campus together through public spaces. It acknowledges the topography of the site, which is challenging. It's very hilly. There's a lot of level change across campus. It was a lot of foresight and um, taking a little bit of risk to hire George Hargraves as the master planner at that time. He was 35 years old, had never master planned a campus before, but was already recognized as a talented landscape architect and urban designer with that potential. The buildings that best capture the spirit of the master plan kind of help anchor the central Main Street public space. Those include the Engineering Research Center, the University Pavilion, the Joseph Steger Student Life Center, and the Student Rec Center. One of the first buildings of the Signature Architecture Program is of particular note. It is the Engineering Research Center. You get this great view down what's left of University Avenue and leads you right to the entrance at multiple levels of the Engineering Research Center. And it has great spaces inside, beautiful materials that complement but do not duplicate the materials, the style, and proportions of the older buildings on campus. Anchoring the south end of McMicken Commons is the University Pavilion building by Lear's Winesapple. It is elegant and extremely disciplined. Its glass facade helps it be open at all times to the McMicken Commons, to the quad, which is framed otherwise all by historic brick buildings. It respects that tradition, but fulfills it in a completely different architectural language that's very contemporary, very much about its time. I'm especially proud of that building because it is the one out of all of these uh, signature buildings on campus that is designed by women. The Joseph Steger Student Life Center does a phenomenal job of negotiating the extreme level change from one end to the other. It is an amazing building. I think it's about 60 feet wide and 600 feet long and negotiates a level change of about 60 feet. Students have reacted to the Main Street at UC very positively. They really utilize the space and gather together. They're drawn to it because it's so inviting. The space is so successful because it incorporates other activities like the rec center, the bookstore, stores, restaurants, along with the academic environment. The Campus Rec Center is probably the most ambitious, energetic, and unusual of all of these buildings in the Signature Architecture Program. It has destinations, it has an incredible architectural energy, and the facilities inside also are state of the art. No one can deny its importance, and that's probably only underscored by its location right in the middle of campus. When I was a freshman, most of the campus was under construction. It was all dirt, we couldn't go, really go anywhere. And so now my family has come back five years later and everything's built and finished and it's just amazing. Everyone loves to come walk through Main Street and see all the new buildings. There are no immediate plans for UC to continue to add signature buildings to the campus. We get a chance to enjoy what we have now for a while. It makes me really proud of being a part of something like this. I love being on the campus, using the buildings, seeing them every day. I really like being a part of a school that is so innovative and being a student on a campus that is so successful and significant.